what's up everybody it's your boy k dub back with another video and shout out to everybody that's watching and supporting the channel definitely don't forget to like share subscribe and comment on this video also on this channel but also on my other channel called the red and black pill mindset and also don't forget to go to my podcast channel where i daily uh where i daily drop some you know good content definitely go out over there and also if you want to support your boy you can definitely do a monthly uh, contribution on my podcast channel or you can do a one time at do it a donation wide at a time which is you no know, paypal cash app you know whatever on the comments uh not in the comment section but in the description under the description of this video same thing with following me on my social medias that's going to be in the description as well and you know let's get into this topic now before you know i get into this topic i want to let you know for every man and same thing for women now i know that when it comes to relationships there are going to be times where y'all going to be button heads and there's going to be arguments you know occurring but like if every time y'all get together and as a man you're in this position and as a woman you're you know point a finger and saying some crazy shit to him or vice versa you know it, it's definitely time to you know just let the relationship go you know wrap it up you know call the day and just you know move on for you and just move on from the situation because it's only going to get you know worse than it already is if you guys actually even try to get things get the situation better but if y'all actually did whatever y'all needed to do to make things right and it still doesn't work out then it's just best to separate yourselves so what i'm actually going to be it's actually going to i'm going to actually going to tell you guys three things as a man you know like the top three things that i can think of for right now as to why as a man you need to leave the relationship so the number one thing that as a man you need to leave the relationship is one she doesn't claim you at all so she can actually you know talk to someone and someone can be like oh are y'all like a couple and then she be like i'm like hey, uh, i mean and then she kind of like stammers or she's trying not to answer that question or you could be you know talking to her parents or her friends and they could be they have really had no idea who you really are this is like actually the first time they've seen you and you could be with that chick for more than a year like a year or two which is you know normal but first you know certain relationships you know you got to take the time to get to know that person before you re re uh, reveal them to your family or whatever but if she hasn't talked about you at all throughout that year or two years hell even a couple of months then that's a very bad sign that she's you know keeping you on the deal you know keep it on the down low and that's a pretty bad sign because a even though y'all could be in a relationship she's you know trying to keep it on the on the wraps you know and i understand like when it comes to certain you know relationships you don't want people you know getting in your business but damn at least give them something at least let them know that you're that you're hers you know actually my bad no, let, let me scratch that that you're that she's actually yours that, that's a lot better that she's actually yours but if she hasn't even done that at all then that's a pretty bad sign that you shouldn't even be doing anything extended with her because if she's going to keep things under wraps that tightly then it's best not to you know go anything further because i can already imagine if y'all like actually establish a life together you know moved in you know y'all actually living in the same house and all that and then she's actually not even acknowledging you as you know her boyfriend or whatever or her husband you know because there could be a lot of reasons why she even do that it could be because there could be a dude that she's 
actually attracted to and she doesn't even want him to realize that she's actually taken so that could be one thing or she's just a very private person and she doesn't want anybody to know the, the, the know the relationship at all which that could be fine too if both of y'all actually sat down and accepted that type of role you know but if she but like i said man if she does that all that you know keep you under wraps and shit and nobody even knows that you even existed then that could be a pretty bad sign and you need to actually leave their relationship and number two she belittles she belittles you as a man you know she actually you know emasculates your manhood you know she like she emasculates you either in public or in private you know it doesn't really matter she treats you like she doesn't even treat you like a man she treats you like a child you know or she could treat you like a dog you know treat you like shit you know treat you in a very you know messed up ways that even that even you as a man you know she like she takes your pride away from you because as a man it like it, it's never good you know as a man being talked crazy to your to your own you know girlfriend like that you know because this is the person that you actually have you know feelings for you know that you actually probably even loved or liked but this is like automatically like you need to you know leave especially if she's like this you know right off the back now i know a lot of dudes is gonna like go try to you know go past or try to act like you know her attitude towards you is not you know like that or they try to deny the reality that she's actually treating you like shit and you you know you just taking it but there are a lot of reasons why because she probably you know looks good you know obviously which is why she's why you even talked to her in the first place you know she may look good she probably has a big booty big titties you know got a small waist like her body looks you know like her body banging same thing with her face she probably do some strange in the bedroom you know she probably tells you all the right things at the right moment but after that she doesn't really acknowledge you like that like there's a lot of reasons why she could actually treat you like shit and that's definitely like she doesn't really expect you respect you at all at that point like she don't respect you at all as a man not even as a person because i've seen in my personal life and of course on tv but mostly my personal life where i've seen chicks you know talk to the dudes like a dog man and it's not like even some hood rat you know ghetto shit i've seen it like in in the middle class or even high class you know society you know in, in neighborhoods you know I've seen it in the workplace i've seen them in you know parties i've seen them in regular just regular in establishments you know and it's just like you know like it's it's a very you know sad thing to see because you already know like as a man you know like if she takes one punch from you like it's already over over like she's you know passed out or whatever and she stops arguing with you but also like you can get locked the hell up because you've put your hands on her so like it can go to that extent you know if you didn't leave that chick you know because i don't i don't give a damn at this point ever since i became you know red pill you know turning to black pill like i've been into a lot of situations where i have i had you know women you know talk to me you know like shit and and because of how i was raised you know women i mean a man shouldn't be putting hands on a woman and because of that ideology that I was raised, I was raised up for, like because of that belief, I didn't, you know, put the hands on them or none of that. Like I didn't even talk back to them or whatever. Because of right, because it brings back to all the things that I, you know, experienced when I was younger, you know. But I actually, it took a long time for me to, like 
but it really took a long time for me to get out of that mindset and actually learn to stand up for myself and not let anybody especially a woman talk to me any type of way and that's and that's when I started to get more and more respect from women as well because women don't respect you know weak guys they don't in the moment that she even gets a sniff of you know weakness in you she'll try to you know poke the bear you know she'll try you know see how far she can actually go for disrespecting you and this is where like off the back you know her talking shit to you it, that needs to you know stop and i kind of already you know went i kind of already talked with talked about on my next step which is you know for number three you don't you know stand up for her so i kind of already went for number three but but you know in the most part as a man you need to not let a woman or anybody you know talk down to you and belittle you as a man that shouldn't that should never happen that shouldn't even be on you know vocabulary or anything that comes out of other people's mouths to say oh i've seen this chick you know and she does this to him and blah blah, blah and just hear a bunch of negative st stuff about you other people will actually will try you if if they see someone talk shit to you to the point where you actually it's almost like a mom you know talking to her you know her you know her little son telling him like what you know what is wrong with you and why you do and what is wrong and why you doing this and that you know you're not doing good in school you know just belittle him like emasculating him in front of everybody that's that's even worse or you know doing him a private but either way she just belittle him as an adolescence you know because there are messed up mothers that doesn't matter if they're raising the you know raising a son there's gonna be times where that wom that woman will talk shit to their sons like that you know and there's a lot of you know a lot of dudes that have been raised by women to actually talk shit to him all the fucking time which is you see, which is why you see a lot of dudes grow up and getting so used to getting emotionally ass whooped from these women to where they're not they're not surprised at all if a woman says some mess up things to them like oh you have a little dick you know you're not a man you know you don't buy nice things for me and a whole bunch of you know a whole bunch of bullshit so and yeah i think that yeah that's all but <clears throat> but yeah man so just the whole point of this whole thing is just not let anybody belittle belittle you you know make sure that person actually acknowledge you that you even exist and above all make sure they <clears throat> excuse me make sure they respect you not only as a man but also as a person and that goes vice versa to women as well like if you got a man that actually treats you like shit you know uh, definitely belittles you like your little child and you don't stand up to that man which you know if it gets physical then you know that's when you need other people especially other other men to you know or you know just call the cops or you know whoever call whoever to actually get you out of that situation if things get really physical you know or psychological you know because there are because you know when it comes to emotional abuse that is a thing I will see that some people don't believe it but being emotional like emotional abuse is a serious thing it, re it really is but that's all i could you know say about this you know video hope y'all you know enjoy this content like i said don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment on this video let me know what you think about it and i definitely will uh talk to you later be careful out there in this quarantine and peace